okay with um, Holy Crescent head coach Matt Brown. Matt, uh, mission accomplished through into the quarterfinals of the Munster Senior Cup. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, delighted with the win, especially against Cashel, who, who are you know, strong every year and they've been a bit of a bogey team for us. So I, I know it's early season, but it's important for us that we keep progressing and to get a win against uh, you know, quality opposition like that, we, we, we're delighted. Uh, and obviously it sets us up for a nice derby tie for the next round. They're, uh, they're an abrasive side, aren't they? They bring a, a, a big degree of physicality. You've got to match that, really, and, and, and these will head on. Yeah, hugely. And uh, and I think we, we, we discussed the fact that we, we don't, we've don't we've no God-given right just to keep spraying the ball out wide. So we had to meet them on the front foot. And like against Dolphin last week, we probably didn't. And then this week, I thought we brought great energy to defence. And for 60 minutes, I thought we were, we were really strong. Um, probably let them creep in a bit at the end. Um, but again, that's, you know, not to take anything away from them. They're, they're, they're a strong team and very strong around the fringes so yeah run they kind of kicked three points just before half time gave you a little bit of a cushion and then the try after half time which is a really terrific individual <laughs> score it put a bit of uh, daylight on the scoreboard yeah it did and uh, and it was certainly a relief for us and we knew you know we were playing uh, with a bit of a breeze so we thought if we could kick on from there but uh, it didn't quite happen that way you know and and, and to, you know we, we know what we're going to get with Cashel and you know two two driving malls which you know we didn't defend as well as we could and, and sure they're back in the game so um, you know we've, we've still got so much to iron out uh, in certain areas of the game but look I, I'm delighted to beat those guys uh, for the first time since I've been here anyway and that obviously you know as you mentioned they did score two tries but you did empty the bench I suppose and get game time so things get a bit disjointed I suppose when guys come on yeah a little bit we're trying to get to a stage where it doesn't and uh, we've got a seconds match tomorrow where lads will get more game time but it, it, that, that's, it, there's a fair bit of management going on because we've got we've probably got 40 plus lads and probably 60 plus when you include the 20s so we're trying to you know even it out amongst lads but also keep that continuity and it, it, look it, it always does happen but uh, I think the more minutes we get into guys now it'll stand to us when we come to the series uh, when, we, when we go down to Cartcon. <laughs> Matt, how are you finding the protocols around match days with the new the new uh, regulations in place? Um, it, it's certainly different, and it's a, it's a different match day experience, but. Um We've got such a good crew of helpers, um, you know, organised by the club, and there's no shortage of bodies. And, and look, I'm, I'm sure we we do we endeavour to do the best we can around it. But um, the fact that we've got so many people pitching in, I think it's a sign of of uh, how strong the club is, you know, in that regard. Anyway. And, and in terms of players, they're they're enjoying, I suppose, the last number of weeks back in pre-season, albeit with, with different regulations, as we say. But they're back playing rugby, and that's what they want to do. Given yeah. How their season was cut short last season. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting on that because there was a lot of apprehension going into the games and people were a bit unsure and stuff but we played an internal game before anyone else and the, the, the picture on the guys faces when they were playing rugby again was unbelievable you could see there was a real enjoyment and hunger to get back out there so for us when you caught it makes the job a whole lot easier and and that's actually even the the the, the bad bits in games we've had they're still the lads are playing really nice stuff and they're playing with massive energy so so i, I can't ask for much more as a coach so obviously gary Owen next weekend will be a step up man but you know, um, the factor in conference one in the new Energia regional series where um, you're going to be pitted against the top teams next that will give you an idea as to where you're at ahead of the start of that later this month. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, we just need to know where we're at. I mean, you're coming up against a team two divisions higher who, you know, perennially uh, just, you know, they're so efficient in the recruitment process and uh, competing at the top level of the game. The flip side of that is we've got absolutely nothing to lose. You know, we can go out and play whatever rugby we want, and there's no real expectation. It's just a case of see what we can come up with. Everything we do positive is a real positive. Um, so you know, hopefully we can just we get a day like this, and we can, you know, I'm sure it'll be two contrasting styles. But um, look, hopefully we get get a bit of sunshine and we can play a bit of play a bit of rugby. You know. How do you feel about being in the top conference then beyond that in the series leading up to Christmas? Uh, I think probably better asking me that after about three games in and I see what the injury list is like. But no, no joking aside, we, 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 we did want for that because the club wants to progress and we do want to pit ourselves and we certainly believe we've got players who are able to compete a level up. Now, obviously, you know, going up against Cork Con is, is right at the top of the spectrum, but, you know, Cashel are in there. Um, Shannon, as strong as they are, are just one division above. So, you know, hopefully we can be competitive in a few. I, I fully accept we might we might click, take a few clips uh, here and there, but look, if we can stay competitive, we, we, we'll be happy, and it sets us up nicely for the for the two A season at the end uh, after Christmas. What's your thoughts on that? I mean, I suppose people's hands were somewhat tied, were they, in terms of you know they've decided to go with uh, local fixtures 
before Christmas and then the All Ireland League, albeit a shortened version of it in the New Year? Yeah, I completely understand the decisions and the reasons, and I suppose there's probably only a handful of clubs who are probably really disappointed, us being one of them, and you know, people like Highfield who for the second year don't get a, a, a crack at promotion. There's no saying you would have got it anyway. That that bit stings a little, but again, you just try and try and get as far as we can in the in the cup uh, and see how, see how many teams we can turn over and, and hopefully we put a good performance in into uh, 2A.